I am a misanthrope, not a racist. I hate all human beings, Palestinians and Israelis. All humans are a psychotic scourge to this planet. Whites, blacks, men, women, heterosexuals, homosexuals, Republicans, Democrats. Shit, I even hate vegans. But I remain a vegan activist because vegans cause the least amount of harm to the animals and the entire planet. Let me be extra clear about this. The Holy Land does not belong to the Palestinians or the Israelis. It belongs to the animals. This whole planet belongs to them. We're just sick, psychotic house guests who refuse to leave the party. I'm actually amazed that anyone would think that I would stop preaching animal liberation in any country because of some human conflict. Animal liberation comes first in my eyes. Incidentally, about that battle that white people had with natives over America. It never belonged to either of you. This land belonged to the buffaloes, the squirrels, the deer, the bunny rabbits, and all the other creatures way before our psychotic, selfish species started raping and destroying it. Human rights activists actually traveled to the Gaza Strip to build chicken coops. So who's the real prisoner? Who's the real victim? Who's got it bad? Humans or animals? I would never go to jail nor give up my freedom or my life for any human rights cause because we are monsters. We are warmongers, tormentors, beheaders, terrorists, and rapists of humans and animals. But even though I say that I hate humans, I am no violator of human beings. I am not a hypocrite, unlike the human rights activists who are in constant violation of principles of equality every second of every day. The hatred that I have for humans is my hatred. And I'm entitled to feel this way because of what my species does to animals. When oppressed humans are no longer in full violation of their principles, then I might show them some compassion. But right now, if you have no compassion to animals, you deserve none in return. Do you realize in America that when blacks were freed from slavery, they were given 40 acres and a mule? They were actually given a fucking mule! The freed slaves were given a slave. Who's got it bad? Blacks are animals. When Hurricane Katrina devastated New Orleans in 2005, it took the government five days to rescue black people who were left behind, proving that racism is alive and thriving in America. But guess who's got it worse? If black people tried to get on a rescue helicopter with a dog or a cat, they were forced to leave the animal behind. It took two weeks for the government to allow us to go in and rescue the dogs and cats. Who's got it bad? Blacks or animals? But this student actually said that animals were living like kings and queens. Yeah, too bad it's like Burger Kings and Dairy Queens. To prove how stupid her comment was, I asked her what she had for breakfast. Cow flesh, black flesh, or Jew flesh? What was her shoes made of? Cow skin, black skin, or Jew skin? Moreover, as black people have been marching the streets of America because a bunch of psychotic cops have been murdering them with near impunity, at the end of the day, these protesters are going home to eat murdered animals. They are treating the animals in the same vile, disgusting way that the cops treated Eric Gardner, Freddie Gray, and the others. What a lovely display of hypocrisy right before our very eyes. But does anyone have the guts to call them out besides me? Oh, and here's one more group of psychos who need to be called out. The Hindus in Nepal, who murder hundreds of thousands of animals every five years 
and a festival of murder for their Hindu gods. How wonderful these scumbags are. The only travesty with the recent earthquake there was that every motherfucking Nepalese who took part in this festival or who stood by silently didn't die. Fuck them and anybody who donates money to help them recover. I could go on and on, but I think you get my drift. Free the cows and the chickens and the pigs and the turkeys and every other creature that has been marginalized, oppressed, enslaved, raped, and murdered by human beings. Then we'll get to the human rights shit instead of the other way around. Until animals are included in all discussions of equality, one struggle, one fight, animal liberation. Fuck human rights. The Israeli flag, for example, which is nothing more than a piece of fabric. The Bible, which is nothing more than a book comprised of ink and paper, actually stir up more emotions than the murder of animals. If there were a barbecue outside this building today, and people were cooking up steaks and hamburgers, there'd be a party. People would actually celebrate the cow who was killed, the person who killed the cow, and the chef that seasoned her dead body. But if someone poured gasoline on the flag or the Bible, struck a match, set it on fire, Lord have mercy.